Why, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys my first impressions of Warframe. Now, before I start, I want to let you guys know I've played for about 24 hours. Uh, I did a 22 hour stream of Warframe and I've played now for a couple hours today. Um, I am completely free to play with the exception of my Twitch Prime integration, which gave me like some pretty OP weapons, but I'm not actually using them. Um, and yeah, I want to just let you guys know. So first off, in terms of actual, like, how much I've enjoyed the game, this has probably been one of the most enjoyable games I've played in the past couple years. Uh, it is my favorite instance-based game that I've played, and I had very low expectations for it, simply because it was basically free to play. And I was like, well, I don't really know how this is going to turn out. I haven't even touched much of the expansion content from what I know, so this is mainly just, you know, my experiences in the game. So before I jump into like the nitty gritty and the customization, which is the main thing, I want to just show you guys how the combat feels, how smooth it is, um, so I'm going to do an easy mission really fast. And obviously I cannot explain everything, necessarily, so we're just going to do whatever we can here. So there's a bunch of different missions, so the type of mission we're going to do right now is called a capture uh, on planet Mars, if you guys see our, our nice little solar system here. Basically the way it works is you start off on your planet, and then you complete the missions around your planet, and your goal is to complete the junction. The junction will have like the prerequisites. Once you complete the junction, it opens up a link to go to another planet, and that's kind of like how you progress. So let's go ahead and jump right on into our mission. So we're gonna go to Aura. This is brought to you by the uh, Mango Mag, so the, the uh, setup that I'm using right now, uh, if you guys want to see my abilities, I've got four abilities for my character. We've got Pull, which is my one, which is the main thing you'll see me use, Magnetize, Polarize, and Crush. All of this is going to be displayed on the bottom right. Um, the next thing is I'm going to go over my gear, which I actually should have showed you before. Uh, I've got a pistol. Um, is as my secondary. Actually, it's more like a like a hand cannon. Uh, and then I have a melee weapon, which I don't know what it is. It's like a like a double sided or like a like a pole arm, I guess you could say. Halberd, maybe a hal. I don't halberd. I don't know. Um, and then I would have a primary weapon, but I'm just leveling these right now. So here we go. There are multiple ways of playing Warframe. You can, you can play like sabotage style, or sorry, like assassin style. You can go for like full completion, like to gather all your resources. Uh, you can go for, I guess, just speed, like going as fast as you can. You do get rewarded though. Like if you go and like act really stealthy, you do actually get like a bonus. If you look at the top right, I'll see if I can get like a bonus here um, for being a little stealthy. Mind you, I may not be the best for... Okay, okay. So if I go from behind... If you look at the top right, you can see Stealth Kill Affinity Bonus, and it's 100% right now. And now it'd be 200%. So let me go after my target, who is... Wait, did I do this wrong? No, 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 he's right here. Target located. Bring them in. The target's escaping! Whoa, buddy. What you doing? Now, this guy's not like a boss fight. He's just literally gonna try to rub him the whole time. So he's like, you don't really have to worry about it. Uh... Excellent work. So now the goal would be basically going to our checkpoint. And again, I know this is like a really boring mission, essentially, to show. Uh, this isn't really to show the gameplay. I just want to give you guys, like, I wanted to show you a little bit about it. So one of the cool aspects about Warframe is how flexible you are with your missions, right? So to talk about, like, your movement, you have, like, basic walking. You have toggle to run if you hold, I think it's shift. Uh, you have, like, the ability to dash. Uh, you can dash attack. You, which, tri which actually like does like bonus damage. Uh, you can actually like do like a crazy jump boost like this, 
which is known as like, I don't know, one of the more common ways of doing things. And you can actually speed around in parkour. You can stick to walls if you like hold right click. And you can literally like fly all over the place in Warframe, which is so cool. Uh, you can also get destroyed like that. Oh man. Oh, they're like not happy, dude. I actually don't have any energy right now, or else I would love to show you guys my skills. The other cool thing about Warframe, originally that turned me off, is I just didn't really know anything about the game. So, uh -oh. being as I didn't really know anything about the game, uh, I thought that Warframe was just like, you have a gun, and you have a sword, and you go and fight stuff. But you can actually have so many different types of weapon styles, it's crazy. And for every single one that you have, you're basically awarded, um, you're awarded for leveling up with it. You gain, like, mastery. Okay, so here's, I'm gonna give you guys an example of how this class works, mag. So this is gonna be my favorite skill that I have, which will essentially pull everything to the center. Uh, or not necessarily the center, but that's basically like you alternate... I'll alternate you uh you fuck with the gravity we're just gonna say that dude. you fuck with gravity bro and you see you can pull them around it's cool because it has low resource cost and if you get a mana back you basically can just cast it again immediately there's also a bunch of all this stuff on the side that you see like i'm not really interacting with uh these are like little caches that you can have um, well, this one just so happened to have nothing in it, but usually they would have something in it. Uh, you can get some pretty nice stuff out of them, not like gear. Maybe you can find like blueprints, but typically it's just for like the materials and the resources for crafting some other stuff. Now, experience is attributed to you based off of what you're using. So if I, I don't know if it's based off of check, can you confirm, is it based off of damage? Or is it based off of, like, kill? Uh, because, like, for example, if I kill this guy with my gun, uh, my, my halberd is not going to get as much XP. There is still a percentage that's split between them. Uh, so, for example, if I wanted maximum gains off of this guy for my Warframe, then I would basically say, hey, boom, right? And you would get the bonus for that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it really does promote for you to play around with different weapon types. And that's the reason why I don't have a primary weapon on at the moment, is simply because I'm leveling other things. And you can see the XP distribution is right here. So at the end, um, you basically get like the items that you found. So these are what we're going to be talking about here in a second. And you have your rewards and then just, you know, your basic stuff over here. So... Now my favorite part to talk about is the customization, which is pretty much where we're going to start and end. So here we go. When you first start Warframe, um, you basically will pick a frame. There's going to be three frames to pick from uh, unless you're doing something else. I don't know like specifically, but we're just going to go like on frames because this is like the bare bones structure of your character. So your frame has its own scaling. You can see here rank bonus. You have, I believe, max level is 30. That's the highest I've gotten my stuff to. So whenever you level up your frame, you actually gain a capacity. So one level is equivalent to one capacity. If you have it potatoed, don't ask why, that's just the term they use, you get double. Now you can add it, I think at any point in time, you just like enchant it or something, I don't know specifically, but the capacity gets doubled, which gives you more room for customization and flexibility. Furthermore, um, certain gear, and this, so this is all kind of together with the Warframe, all the gear kind of follows this, uh, will be polarized, I believe it is, and what that means is, if you see here, actually let me like scroll this over here, can I like right click this out, I'll just drag it here, so this has a little symbol on it, right, if you match up the symbols, so th this isn't tied to like streamline specifically, this is like a type, right, so I'm going to call this the gun type. If you put a gun type in here, it actually gets halved on the amount for the capacity, which is really cool. So, 
Um, different Warframes will have different types and different weapons will have different types as well. Now, one thing to note is there is quite a lot of grinding if you want to min-max your characters because I believe you can like level your stuff up to max and then reset it and gain another slot of your like your polarization or whatever it's called, which is pretty cool. So your Warframe also has four skills tied to it. Um, and you can see like if I go to upgrade right now, or not upgrade, let me go to like equip. You can see all the different Warframes here with wh which ones you can get. And there's more than this as well. Um, and you can, you can go through them. Now, actually unlocking another Warframe does take quite a bit of time. This is not an instant gratification game. This is like a delayed gratification grind over a long period of time. Um, and it, I don't want to say it's locked behind a, like a paywall, but you definitely can pay to get things immediately. It's basically pay for convenience. I'll be honest with you, like I said, I have not put a dollar into the game and I'm perfectly fine with where I'm at. Uh, I know for a fact I will get gated based off of time later, but I also play video games 15 hours a day minimum, so like I totally understand that. Um, you do not need to put money in like at all. Like You can totally play the game 100% free. You don't have to invest money. I'm telling you as a person who's doing it right now, so don't feel like you have to do that. Of course, if you want to play this as your main game and put ridiculous amounts of hours in, you're most likely going to be putting money in and they do have sales where they have like 75% discounts. Um, so maybe make sure to kind of stay, stay oriented towards that. But it is a very community oriented game uh, and you can find all that information on the forums and everything. So uh, next thing I want to talk about is your gear. So on your equips, if I go to like cancel out of here, actually, whoops, that's just kidding. Equipment, arsenal. All right. So you have primary, secondary, and melee. So primary weapon can be between so many different types, right? So I'm just going to show you from here specifically. We've got, uh, actually, see, I'm not really good with like guns and stuff. So I'm just going to like go down and point out different types. So I've got like a bow here, right? Uh, I've got a Soma Prime here, which is like, uh, is what is like a assault rifle. I don't know. You guys can read. I'm really bad with guns and stuff. This was like not my my thing. Um, there's um, uh, this is pretty cool. This is a bolter, which basically fires like almost like a like a hook shot. I think that like you can see it impales them into walls. Uh, we have like there's so many different kinds. Like I know these all just look like guns, but I I promise you, like so many types of them, they're just completely different. It's not like it's not like you just shoot a bullet comes out and a target takes. A, a type of damage like the we some of the weapons are literally like completely different from one another which is awesome even if you go from like one bow to another bow to another bow they can still be completely different and that's what i said i was confused about when i first started playing i thought it was just like you have a weapon and you pick a different kind of weapon and you have an offhand and that's it but you truly can have so many different types of weapons um and the same thing would go for your offhand and the same thing would go for your melee weapon. You have so many different kinds of melee weapons. So this one I can speak a little bit more on. There is, so for example, uh, if I go here, you have like, whatever the fuck this is. You've got a really slow two-handed axe. You've got a much quicker like one-handed, like I guess, sword. Uh, well, this is like almost like a katana. I don't really know specifically. You have a whip. Uh, I think these are, I don't even know, a tonfa. I don't even know what a tonfa is. It looks like like a melee melee punch weapon. Uh, this is, I don't even know what this is. I didn't even know this was a thing actually. Uh, looks like we have two gigantic like cleavers here. Uh, dual, so like, like look, there's so many different kinds of things you can get, which is just so crazy. And again, each one, if you look at them, they may have special properties on them. Uh, and then you have other types. You have like impact, puncture, slash, uh, leap attack, spin attack, status, wall attack. So there's a bunch of different attributes attributed to the weapons as well. So make sure you kind of look at that. Um, but that's not what this video is for. So the next thing I want to talk about is the actual upgrading process, which I kind of went over with the actual Warframe. So just like your normal weapons or your, your Warframes, your gear does get the same exact scaling. You can see it's rank 19. It's got 19 capacity. So I'm going to go to my... Um, let me put on my bow here. So I have a Paris here, which is maxed and it is potatoed. And when I say it's potatoed, remember how I told you guys it doubles it. So it's got 60 capacity. So the cool thing about this is there's so many different types. So on my current weapon I have, 
I've got speed, tri speed trigger, which gives 120% fire rate for bows. I have serration, which is just global damage. Now, some of these you will run in pretty much everything. Like, serration is literally global damage. So if you decide to play your character like, I don't know, like elemental or whatever, which I don't know if you can go pure elemental, this would still scale it. Um, I personally have Stormbringer plus Cryo Rounds, which if you look here at the bottom, if I pull off my Cryo Rounds, I just have electricity. If I swap Cryo with Storm, I just have Cold. If I put Cold and Lightning together, guess what? We get Magnetic. Depending on the different type of element you do, you're going to be stronger versus certain enemies via, you know, shields, armor, and etc. Um, and this is free. You can customize, pull in and out, whatever you want, which is so cool. There's no respecking. You don't have to worry about that. And that, again, is something so important to me when I play a game that's free to play, is if the respecking system is gated behind, hey, you have to pay me 20 bucks, that's kind of silly, right? So I'm very happy with the way this is set up. Um... I guess the next thing to talk about is basically you can upgrade these by going to your mods and you can go through and upgrade all of your stuff here. Uh, and this is why I was talking about how exploration and stuff is okay because you are going to need a diff like different types of resources uh, depending on what you're doing. So like if I click Stormbringer and go to Fusion, uh, you can see here that to rank it up I would need 160 of this little, I forgot, but this is really important. And these are like your credits, your main source. Um, yeah, but anyway, that's pretty much what I wanted to touch up on. I know I probably only covered like 2% of what Warframe has to offer, uh, but I just wanted to give you guys my personal experiences with the game and some highlights for me that I really like, which, like I said, was the customization. Uh, and the cool thing is the customization I showed you guys, there's more past that. There's like stances, I believe, you can get. Uh, and then on top of that, you have four things. You've got your Warframe to customize, you have yourself, your, your primary, your secondary, and your melee weapon to customize. So there's four things. Um, the last thing that I want to cover is like kind of a negative thing. It's not really negative to me, but I can see this being negative to you guys. Uh, and that is, this is where the kind of like the big weight comes in that a lot of people don't like. When you're crafting things for yourself, like buying blueprints, uh, so you get a blueprint, right? From the blueprint, you look up everything you need, you go farm the, the materials and the zones, and then you craft it. But crafting in Warframe takes hours or days. Some things take minutes, but important things take hours and days. And, you know, I know a lot of people like, oh my god, I spent, you know, three days farming this dungeon, I got my weapon. Well, Warframe's like, oh my god, I spent three days farming this dungeon, time to wait three more days for this to craft. And... To me, that's okay, because there's so many different things you can do. Like, you can use a different set of weapons, you can use a different Warframe, you can, you can do all these different types of stuff. But this is something to make sure that you pay attention to, because I know this really does put off a lot of people, uh, so I want to make sure I can, you know, get all that information out to you guys. But, that is pretty much about it. That's everything I have to tell you guys about for this video. So I hope you guys have a wonderful time, hope you guys enjoy yourselves. Uh, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.